Okay. Well, the only thing you're going to have to do is conduct yourself properly behind me. I don't want no DDTDT. Sit down. I'm Barry Gaker. I'm the director here, and I'm very pleased to have you come on this delicious summer day. And I'm going to make some comments on the show, but before doing that, I would like to ask the co-chairman of the board of directors of the National Center of Afro American Artists, Dr. Vivian Johnson, to welcome you. Yes, thank you. because it captures the uh, perspective of five African artists who are responding to injustice in a way that struggles the soul. And so I am just so pleased to have the opportunity to invite you here for this special opening. And I want to say that we have the best director curator who <laughs> has curated this exhibit and I would like therefore to have Barry Gaither tell you about the exhibit and to invite you to see the rest of the museum as well. Thank you. Uh, we have some quite special uh, notations to make at the outset. I'd like to recognize Representative Byron Rushing, who is with us. And I would like to recognize Dr. Tim Kindle. Uh, Tim, has, Tim is visiting part of his handiwork because we were the joint curators for the Espelta exhibition. That subject area is Tim's uh, expertise, and we would have been unable to produce that exhibition without his cooperation. And we didn't pay him a fee. He was <laughs> interested in doing it, and he got it done. So I'm eternally grateful to him for his uh, terrific interest in us. Now, I'd also like to introduce Colleen Cody, whose work is here at <laughs> as a future museum member, he has <laughs> his arms, which is always very good. Would you like to do the Well, I would like to thank you all for coming. I wasn't prepared to say anything, but I appreciate the opportunity to show my uh, I the museum have been very supportive of my work over the years. Yeah. Since 1993, where I had my very show uh, as well as a student here. And uh, I really appreciate the uh, ongoing support uh, for the museum. Nancy Toussaint, who is a faculty member of the Massachusetts College of Art, and who is on the board of trustees of the South Shore Arts Center, introduced the idea that we might do something together. Uh, so, Candace Smith Corby and I worked on putting this show together, and the show opened at Cohasset about uh, two months ago, and ran for a month there, and then came here. So, that's a little bit of the background and uh, both Candace and I worked to pick the artist for the show, and uh, I think we're very happy with the end result. We were interested in an exhibition that interrogated contemporary issues of a political nature uh, on the continent. Uh, frankly, folk who are my age remember with uh, intoxicating enthusiasm, the beginning of the end of the colonial era, at the end of the 50s and throughout the 60s. And we had such terrific optimism for what the new Africa would be. Uh, we weren't quite tempered with how long and how much work it takes to get from a place of distress to a better place. 
So we've watched with uh, intense interest the, the pains of growth in Africa, and we've watched the to and fro of that, the pros and cons. We've wished for some things to go in ways that haven't, but in a longer view, we fought in this country the Civil War almost 100 years after the birth of the nation. So we should appreciate that it's not an easy project to arrive from a profoundly unjust place, which was the circumstance of the colonial era, to a place of a new kind of political entity. So these works really deal with some of the struggles over issues of economic, social, and political justice in the continent on that long journey. So if I may presume, I'll comment briefly on each of the works. Now, the work here, which is Khalid's work, is titled Violence Transformed. And it juxtaposes the garments of uh, Sudanese women, such as the very handsome and clean uh, wrap with the yellow and lavender edges that you see there. Those elements of dress for everyday wear and for occasions have been put in counterpoint with the tragic brutality of the Civil War. Uh, Sudan is the longest running uh, civil war in Africa, and that war has moved from just being the war of North-South to the tragedy of Darfur. This particular work is dedicated to the woman who appears in the photograph here, Alma Hagen, a woman in Darfur who lost her children to Janjui uh, uh, rioters, terrorists, and as a shock response, lost her voice and her locomotion. So this piece is dedicated to that tragedy. But the larger purpose of the piece is really to call us to engage in whatever ways we can how to alter that reality, how to help bring to check the government, and the uh, allies of injustice in Sudan. So you could say the work is a meditation on what we need to do to help Sudan arrive at a place of healing and shed the tragedies which are represented by the movement to whom the peace is dedicated. 